The Acara FP2 is the most revolutionary smart home device I've ever used. You'll be able to add hundreds of new automations to your smart home that you've never been able to do before because of just this one sensor. It's absolutely mind blowing what it can do and you guys are gonna love it. All right, those are some pretty big claims. Let's take a look at what's included with this little white hockey puck of a sensor. Attached is an adjustable magnetic stand. So you can attach it to a metal surface or the metal base plate that comes with it. You could also use it on a shelf with just the stand, even though it's upside down. It can auto detect if it's upside down or you can manually set it in the app. I just think it's a weird choice by Akara to have their name upside down if you choose to use the stand on a shelf, whatever. So when you're mounting it, it's best to put it in a corner because it has a 120 degree detection radius. It comes with a long USB-C cord that you can attach for a different length. The previous version did not have a detachable cord, so I'm glad they updated it. It doesn't come with a power brick, but it just uses a basic 5 volt 1 amp one that you probably have laying around. There are no internal batteries, so it needs to be plugged in, but I hate dealing with batteries, so I think this is a plus. The real magic is happening on the inside. There's a 60 hertz millimeter wave sensor that can detect very small movements. It doesn't even need to have a direct line of sight. So if you're sitting still on a couch, it can continue detecting you unlike a traditional PIR motion sensor. The Acara FP2 does not have a PIR sensor built in like the Everything Presence 1, but that might not matter to you once you see what the FP2 is capable of. It also has a light sensor included and it's extremely responsive. Usually light sensors take a while to update, but this is almost instantaneous. The FP2 uses Wi-Fi and not Zigbee, so you do not need the Acara Hub. And I was even able to add it straight to the Apple Home app without needing to add it to the Acara app. But you will want to add it to the Acara app to access all the functionality. And this sensor is capable of doing a lot more than you might think. One of them is it can detect multiple people in the room. Akara says it can detect up to five people, but when there's three or less, it's a lot more accurate. This is great, and it can really help the sensor's presence detection if multiple people are going in and out of a room. You can also mount it on the ceiling to detect people falling. I think this feature is awesome, and it can be a big help if you're caring for an older parent or someone. That way you can get alerted if they need help. But the best thing about the FP2 is zone detection. You can map out a room and break it into different zones to detect where people are. Yes, that's right. The sensor can tell exactly where you are in the room. This is so insane. You just draw little boxes on the grid to create zones and you can create up to 30 for a room. You could also put little stickers to show where the furniture is to help you visualize it. Like if I'm sitting on the couch or standing in the kitchen, it will even show a real time view of where people are in the room. And this isn't just some little gimmick. You can actually run automations based on what part of the room you're in based on the zones that you create. I've never seen anything like this and you're gonna be blown away when you see this in action in just a minute. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Lately, Ali and I have been trying to juggle three kids and running a YouTube channel, so we're using less social media. Instead, we've been taking Skillshare courses. It's been so much better because we actually feel energized to work after watching it. For example, one of my goals is to work faster so I can make more videos and have extra family time. So I'm taking a few Ali Abdal courses on productivity and wow, so much great stuff in there. Things I didn't even know I needed to hear, like deadlines and motivation. Seriously, there's this section about the motivation myth and it was a light bulb moment for me. You gotta check it out. They have classes on everything from business to web development to art. And I even took one from MKBHD about making YouTube videos videos, which I really enjoyed for the great tips on creating tech videos. Whatever your goals are, Skillshare is a great place to start. I love how it doesn't have distractions and clickbait. And the first thousand people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Try it out for a month and see what you think. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so the first place I had to try out the sensor was in our office because Ali and I both have a desk in here. Check out how fast it can detect when I sit down at my desk. Right when I sit down, it detects me. 
It's crazy fast, but it gets even better. When I switch spots and sit at Allie's desk, it immediately stops detecting me at my desk and knows I'm sitting over here. So insane. Then I was wondering, can it detect both of us sitting at our desk at the same time? I mean, it can detect multiple people in the room, so it should, right? And it does. When we're both sitting at our desks, the two zones show up as occupied. This is perfect for something like playing music. If only I'm in the room, it can automatically play a certain playlist. Or if only Allie is at her desk, it can play music she likes. If we're both in the room, it can play a special playlist. How romantic is that? Forget buying Allie flowers, I'm gonna buy her an Akara FP2. This could also be great in bedrooms, and for this one, I could divide into three zones. Sit on the chair and the reading lamp turns on. Sit on the couch and the TV automatically turns on to your favorite show. Get in bed and everything turns off, unless someone was still sitting in the chair. Then the light could stay on, since it can detect if someone's in the bed and the chair at the same time. What's cool is if you have a small pet like our little Luna, it doesn't detect her. There are so many ways you can use this, like my dream lights in the dark night that change as you move throughout the room. Sitting in the family room, only those lights need to be on. Move to the dining room table or the kitchen and the lights adjust to where you are. I can't get over how awesome this is. I just keep walking back and forth because it feels fake. So look how responsive this is. I walk in the family room, it turns on. I walk into the dining room and then immediately turns off. Then if I walk over to the kitchen, kitchen lights turn on and the dining room turns off. That's so fast and it's just crazy. So I'm walking back to the dining room. <laughs> now I'm in the family room. So nuts. This is, this is nuts. This is the most futuristic thing I've tried in my smart home in a really long time. It feels almost impossible that you can do all of this with this one little sensor, but it's not without some shortcomings. There are only a few settings for sensitivity and distance that you can adjust. With the Everything Presence 1, I could dial in the exact distance I wanted the millimeter wave to detect, which turned out to be very precise. There are also a few things to be aware of for compatibility. The presence detection zones created in the Akara app show up both in the Apple and Amazon apps, so you can use those zones to run automations, which is pretty sweet. With Google, the zones showed up, but were not able to trigger routines. Bummer. I also wasn't able to get it connected to Home Assistant right now. I even tried the HomeKit controller integration, but it didn't work. I'm sure someone will figure out how to add it to Home Assistant though. I'm not worried because the FP2 will support Matter in the future, so compatibility shouldn't be an issue. Akara also has some extra features planned for future updates. Of course you shouldn't buy tech based on what a company says it will do in the future, but I mention it because it's cool to see what this technology is capable of. Unlike the Akara FP1, the FP2 should be available globally, so it should be a lot easier to get a hold of. I'm really excited for all the automations I'm going to be able to make using this sensor. And make sure you hit that subscribe button to see those in the future. Thanks for watching. You are so lazy. Thanks to your new sensor, I know you've been laying there for two hours. Hey, watch it or I'm going to replace you with ChatGPT. No, please don't. I'm so jealous of ChatGPT. She's so popular. Anything but that. And eh, too late. It's happening.